Let's go Eagles. WHPC, WHPC HD Garden City. Welcome to another edition of From the Press Box. As we happen to be here every Monday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., doing the sports thing. My name is Rob Leonard. My co host is Tim Leonard. And yes, he is my brother. Award-winning sports writer, we should say. We have to remind people of that, though. If you're a regular listener, you know that. Today is Monday, January 22nd, 2018. And it's less than two weeks until we have the Super Bowl. Because you know what? They have to wait two weeks. And actually, it's probably a good thing. It allows people to heal. Uh, but it also allows a lot of... Gronk, Gronk needs to heal. Yeah, Gronk needs to heal. But it also allows the, the, the hype... Uh, that the press will give the game because it's a two-week thing. Uh, in the old days, the media was great. You know, they'd get a two-week vacation. Media is still great. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much they get now. Do they? Does every oh, paper send a person to the no. Super Bowl? Maybe Super Bowl is expensive. Yeah, so they, maybe they don't spend two weeks now. Maybe they spend a week. You know, but uh, it does happen. And and well, but the, no, I mean the papers that go. Are there for pretty much the, the entire week, but yeah, you know, I mean, two weeks. Yeah, that's well, tough. no, because they're not there for two weeks. They stay well, yeah. at home and then they travel, and they, they're there for about four or five days. But they'll arrive probably the weekend first, don't they? The media allow the big shots show up, you know, the, by the weekend, probably. Well, yeah, but the teams, <clears throat> the teams won't be there for two weeks. Like nobody's going. No. First of all, would you want to be in Minnesota now for two weeks? No. no. But but if 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 my if I owned the team, I'd want them to be there, even though it's an indoor game. Technically, uh, you'd want them to get used to being where they are. You know. Well, not technically. It is an indoor game. Yeah, I know. But just it's still you know outside. It might be colder. I don't know. No. I thought that when they were building uh, that we were uh, don't. I thought I thought when they built the the Falcons place, they were going to be outside. I thought that was like the new thing. They were going to be outside. No, the uh, the Twins' new stadium is yes, that's outside. The Vikings, yeah, they put a roof on it because they're they're smart. <laughs> I don't know. They're you smart. Know. You need a roof in Minnesota. The 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 Twin Stadium should have a roof too, but it doesn't. So, by the way, bro, I need to I need to cut in. I need to interrupt you. And what because, what, is, what is that, brother? I I I need to I need to say this. Are you going to call yourself something? I I I want I have to once again, as usual, as as the listeners of this show. Are are kind of getting used to, or kind of should be used of to. Of course, by now. of course, brother, you, you're 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 they, you're you're uh, you're a genius. They I think. should be they should be used to <clears throat> to a certain level of excellence. I think from from this show, as far as uh, prognostications go. Yes, yes. And I, I would like to uh, point out for the record that that I'm going to pat myself on the back here for being an actual stable genius. I thought our, only our president was a stable genius. No, our, our president is a stable genius like Mr. Ed. Um, if you recall, brother, last week I predicted the AFC and NFC championship games. You did? You did. And with my own personal theory, yes. I was the only one, only one espousing this theory. The only one. That the results would go according to, and I'm quoting myself here, whatever makes it easier or easiest for the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, but you were under that, that silly notion that the NFL fixes the game so the and, Patriots and, can win. And who was the first person to congratulate the Patriots yesterday after they won? I don't know. The referees. Well, they were jumping around. Uh, like the, they were doing the Ewok dance or something. Conspiracy theory. All right? <clears throat> but I told people, I even told our listeners, I said, bet the games according to what I'm telling you. Well, you know, bet, I hope they did because if they did, if they else. did, they're happy. Well, and, you're not you're, making you're money. Not, you're not a gambling prognos- uh, procrastinator. No, what's the word? Uh, Prognosticator. Prognosticator. Yeah, thank you. All right. I was going to say procrastinator, but but, but what happened? Else? I said, I said, Patriots will win. You did say, and, that. and, I, and I, I, to be honest, I expected the game to be a little more lopsided. So kudos to the Jaguars, yes. but the Patriots did win, and I said the, the Eagles would win. 
because I, I'm sorry, even with the final score of what it was, the Vikings are the superior team to the Eagles. Nick Foles is not a Super Bowl winning quarterback. The no, Eagles, but the you Eagles know are what? A, a far better you know, team with Carson Wentz. They are, but the I Eagles have to say, Tim, the, Super Bowl. the uh the Vikings played like a bunch of nobodies. Well, uh, but the, my point the being, the Eagles played very, very good. My my point being, they played well, but that's okay. They played very, very well. Thank the you. The Patriots won. Okay. And then, what's the easiest way for the Patriots to, get, to win the Super Bowl? The Eagles won. Okay. So there you have it. Once again, Tim Leonard. Uh, I actually think, genius. brother, that um, Mr. Foles, Nick Foles, Nick Foles, he was good yesterday. Very good. Played well. Um, but you know what I liked about him? They took chances. Now, I'm not sure how much it involves him or involves the coach or how much it... Probably more coach than, than quarterback. But, but they, they took chances that in a championship game, sometimes you don't see. You referenced this on the way in. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. Talk about that. Well, you know, the, at the end of the second quarter, instead of taking a the knee, they, they moved the ball until they got a, a, a field goal. And the, the, I always thought, I'm listening to the game going home, and I'm like... Well, the Saints really should try and fourth down in this little time left. Wait, you just said Saints. Who did you mean the Eagles? Right? I mean the no, no. I, I meant the uh, Vikings, Vikings. The Vikings. Okay. Vikings. That the Vikings should, uh, you know, with this little time left, try. You know, because where they were, it wasn't a great kicking. You know, they were they were had enough room to do it, um, and and j- just try. I think. In, I think. In one of the things about championship games and playoff games is that. Coaches get scared. They're afraid of, oh, we might have a fumble. Every move is scrutinized. Yeah, but you know what? If if you run scared all the time, then the other team knows this, and they start playing you differently. I think I think that's what happened. Because, you know, let's be honest. The, the Viking looks like, Vikings looked horrible yesterday. And you're they right, were not they good. Sh- they were they, not they're, good. They're, they're, you know, technically, if you put player by player, it's the Vikings. But... You know what? <laughs> it was just a much better game. Eagles Eagles had a better game plan, and their defense, which the Vikings are supposed to have the superior defense. Obviously, they did not yesterday. No, they didn't. Uh, and, but the Eagles' defense is very good. And what what I was hoping for, and, and it's hard to say that any team would have home field advantage in the Super Bowl because your own fans don't really get to go to the game. No. But... If the Vikings had, if the Vikings had a Super Bowl fortnight, because I can't, I can't call it a week, a Super Bowl fortnight where they were sleeping in their own beds, where right. they were just in their cities, they were with their families, it, it would just be a, a kind of a kind of a normal week for them. Aside from all of the obvious, absurd media responsibilities that, that every player has, that's this is this is something that that is mandatory that players, you know, there's there's press sessions every day and and every player is is required to be there. Right. So these are and there's a lot of guys who don't talk to the press at all during the season, but they are required to be in a seat with a name placard and be available if for whatever reason any anybody from the media wants to speak with them. So that part is different, but if you're able to do that and then you know, get in your truck and drive home as opposed to all right, we got to go to the team bus. Then we got a team meal. Right. Then we're going to the hotel. It's just, hey guys, I'm going home. I'll see you tomorrow. That that's different, and that would be a lot better for a team just because it would be, it would be a more normal week. It wouldn't be so regimented, and it wouldn't be like, all right, between you know twelve and one, you have to be at the at the stadium for the press session. Between one and three, we're going to have lunch. Between three and four, we're going to have film session, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, obviously, a lot of those things still happen, but. Again, it's it's not every every step that you take isn't so regimented because you can go home at some point. Right, right. So there there's never been a team play a Super Bowl in its home stadium. We we talked about this a little right, bit last right, week. Yeah. And the Vikings could have been the first one. But right. Obviously, I mean the, the the game they 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 the Vikings scored the first touchdown and after that it, it was all Eagles. It wasn't even close after that. So, congratulations to the Eagles. I, I still say I, I agree with the back page of the New York Post. Uh, as far as Super Bowls go for New York fans, this is terrible. It is because because the Jets hate the Patriots and the Giants hate the 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 Eagles. And you know, if you're a Jets fan, you say let's go Eagles. If you're a Giants fan, you say 
Let's go, boy. You really can't well, say let's go Patriots. My man, my man, Robbie Randazzo, he loves getting a mention on the show, but he told me yesterday, he said to me yesterday, he goes, he goes, what am I going to do? Because he's a, he's a huge Giants fan. He says, I can't root for the Eagles. I hate the Eagles. Of course. He goes, like, he, he wants nothing good to ever happen to the Eagles, but he also doesn't like the Patriots, but he's just like, all right, you know what? I'm a Patriots fan for the Super Bowl. Because I can't root for no, the Eagles to do like, anything. It's like rooting for Darth Vader. But I, I compared this as, as a Yankee fan to the Red Sox uh, Mets World Series in 1986. That's easy. Worst World Series ever. No, it's not. Oh, that was easy. That's How was you're easy? a Yankee fan, you rooted for the Mets. I, I did not want the Mets to win the World well, Series. Why not? Because the Yankees because, were already not in because it. Because of, of, of the, the arrogance and, and the idiocy that Mets fans. Not only displayed after they won the World Series, but that carried over for a good fifteen, almost years. ten years. Well, you know. until the Yankees finally got to the point where they were ready to win the World Series again. That was Met fans just—I mean—they couldn't stop talking about '86. Well, it was, it was one of the great teams of all time. Ugh. You know that. I'm, I'm not questioning that, but that's the point: is that Met fans just got so absurdly arrogant about one World Series, that team should have won three World Series. Well, we know that. All right? We, we, but, you know, 85 Met, and 87. It was, it was good that the Red Sox didn't win the World Series and, and continued to curse for another couple another couple of decades. But, but rooting, that, and especially in the circumstances. Fan, if you're a Yankee fan, you have to be rooting for the, the, the Mets in that situation because it's, it's, first of all, it's a New York team. Second of all, you hate the Red Sox more than you hate the Mets. Because yeah, that was that was the thinking back then. Yeah, it, it was to, especially it, it since still, you played them. But it's you still didn't play, it, it, it was, was no interleague play back then. It was still distasteful. Well, you know, the, the, you got to make the, your choices. The taste in the taste in my mouth from that World Series was not. Yeah, a good you, one. you know, it's like I hate vegetables. Okay, so here's a serving of spinach and a, a serving of carrots. Which one am I eating? Uh, uh, you're not eating either one of them. Uh, you're probably you, you right. Would go on the starvation diet. I, I might have to, but you know, it, I, I for this one, I'm rooting for the the Eagles because. I really hate the Patriots, and so I you're think, rooting for the carrots. Yeah, I'm rooting for the carrots. Well, actually, yeah, you're right. Uh, this, you know, no, you're right. I I'm probably just, would eat carrots. I'm just throwing spinach, it out there, <laughs> even though the the green is uh, Eagles color. But I I have no 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 problems rooting for the Eagles over the Patriots. I I don't want uh, I don't want uh, you know I'm not a fan. As much as he's going down as one of the great players, <clears throat> Tom Brady, you know. He's, he's a great quarterback. I'm not going to deny that. But I, I, I just, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking on the Facebook wins. Live right now. My, my idiot friend Bob Croce is, is now uh, tuning in. Uh-oh. Uh, Croce is a Mr. Boston. Oh, my God. You know, I, I don't get him. I don't get him at all. Why, why is he, you know. Why Men, just mentally admit, stable people don't get him. Well, you know, it might be, you know, they're just from Boston. I don't know. It is. It's the whole Boston mentality. Yeah. It's, 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 the whole, it's the whole thing about, about being a second-class city. And, and you've had one team that's had prolonged success. And, and the problem is, and, and I've said this repeatedly over the years, the AFC in general for at least a decade has been a terrible conference. And the Patriots are the only good team. I still think the Steelers are a better team than Patriots this year. The Steelers should yes. not have lost. Yes. The Steelers should not have lost to Jacksonville. No, they shouldn't have. And they should have beaten the Patriots a few weeks ago, but the ref screwed them on the catch. That was a catch. Is it really? Do you really think the referees are, are ganging up and saying, "Hey, let's make sure New England, excuse me, New England wins"? No, I don't think. I, I hope not. <laughs> I there, don't know. There's there a lot. Is, there there's seems a lot of to be a decent amount of evidence. There's a lot of paranoid people out there. Oh yeah. think that Twitter blew up yesterday when when the refs uh, congratulated the Patriots after the game, especially well, after some of the calls that were made. Well, I didn't get that. Why? Would, I've never seen that happen, or unless they do, and we we just. Never saw it before. I, I don't know. I'm. I'm do, a do little, they come up and I'm shake the hands of the referee and say thanks for the good game? I, I, I think the referees in, in that instance should probably, if they're going to do that, it should do it um, in the tunnel or someplace where the fans don't see. But to do it immediately, you know, as the game is ending and as the final whistle blows, the referee should not be the first people congratulating them. That's bad form. It's a bad. It's a bad optic, as they say. It doesn't look good. I agree. I uh, I agree with that, and, and I don't know. I th- I th- I just think that you know I, you got to go with the Eagles, and you know I think it's gonna be a close game. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't I don't think it will be. I do. I really don't. Well, I, actually, you know what? <clears throat> I th- I would like. Here, here's the one thing. All right. Here, here's the one thing that when you talk about conspiracy theories and and referees, the Jaguars had 
what was it, the best defense, second best defense in the league this year. They they were a, a sack machine, pressured the quarterback, did all kinds.